Waking up early this morning on your Friday, we're off to a bit of a soggy start as we're currently seeing a lot of activity moving through northern Illinois. Some may even see some wet snow. Right now, a winter weather advisory is in effect for those counties furthest to the north. That does include all of Joe Davies, Stevenson, Winnebago, Boone County, as well as our southern Wisconsin counties. A little bit further to the south, we are expecting some still wet roads and impacts this morning, but rather more rain will fall if you are a little closer to I-88. Taking a look at exact track right now, we're slowly starting to see some of that cooler air come into play. Even a little bit further south, some pockets of heavier rain moving through. As of right now, we are seeing rain all the way up into the state line, but you'll notice some of those showers are wanting to transition into that wet snow. Taking a little bit of a closer look at where we're seeing not only those pockets of heavier rain, but even that snow transition occurring. Right now, Oregon, you're seeing some pockets of heavier rain. As of right now, even through places like Winnebago, Rockford, seeing that heavier rain move through as well. And you'll notice a little bit further to the east, DeKalb, Genoa, Marengo, even about half of Belvedere slowly starting to see that wet snow mixing in with some of that rain. This is exactly the trend that we'll see throughout the rest of our morning. As we take a look at exact track, that cooler air will slowly start to take over. Where you're seeing some of that snow right now is the best chance to pick up a few inches as we are going to see cooler air transition the rain into that snow later this morning. It'll stick with us as we get a little bit closer to the 11 o'clock hour. A little bit more rain is expected as we head into the afternoon further south. South. The showers begin to taper off as we get through the rest of our Friday. May still see some of that activity linger into the afternoon, but a lot of it will clear out, especially as we head into tonight. In terms of the accumulations, the further north that you are, the better chance you have to pick up some snow, especially in and around this area along the state line and even further north into Wisconsin. The rest of us may get close to about an inch as that rain is still falling for some of us as we head throughout the rest of our morning. Regardless, give yourself extra time this morning. Wherever you're going, whether it's work, any errands you have to run today, as we are likely to see those impacts on the roadways, regardless of what's falling, rut conditions are expected. Temperatures will We'll climb into those upper 30s as we then drop into the low 30s overnight. We'll see a chance for some patchy fog. Even a light drizzle is possible as well. Into tomorrow, we'll end up seeing another chance for a system to move through later. May end up seeing a couple flakes building in, but otherwise just some very light scattered showers are possible as we then stay dry into both Sunday and Monday. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, you'll notice those temperatures stay within the 40s, but we do have yet another active stretch expected. Late Tuesday night night spilling over into Wednesday mainly as rain, but then as those temperatures drop, maybe talking about another rain and snow mix, if not just snow showers early into Thursday morning.